Using social media in the workplace has become a controversial topic for many business people and managers. When you use your personal internet and social media in the workplace, it can affect your company in multiple ways. You can take down productivity and you can also unknowingly introduce hacks into your company's system. So managers are having to come up with a way to maintain company and personal privacy between their customers, their company, and their employees. Computers have come a long way in the last 20 years, and I think the best example of that is how we've had to handle business and school during the COVID-19 pandemic. This computer can attach me to my personal friends, my professors like it's doing right now, or to my businesses where I have to conduct my own personal work through Zoom meetings, video, PowerPoint, email, Google Meet, Google Teams, things like that. Supports of company crackdowns come with company privacy. If you're working on your company computer using social media and personal internet, you can introduce hacks, viruses, and leak information even on accident to your company. You can also reduce efficiency and productivity in the workplace with these distractions. So managers are having to come up with a way to compromise between the support and the opposition. The opposition would be that your employees have their own personal lives and you have to be able to protect their privacy and your company's privacy. But as a society now, we're so connected that our messaging and communication is instantaneous. So your employees need to be able to get connected with their loved ones in personal lives in case of an emergency so that they can handle their own business. They also need to have some mental breaks during work just to kind of relax and that might even help increase efficiency. When it comes to compromise, managers have to figure out how to handle this. I think the best way would be to come up with a privacy policy on their own company servers that blocks social media and personal internet sites. You will also have to have your employees sign a waiver or something that informs them of their personal privacy, of the changes in their company computers, but I think they should also be able to use their own personal devices to access their personal social media. This will limit distractions, increase productivity, while main and increase productivity while maintaining personal and company privacy. The scenario is illustrated on page 149 of chapter five where you can form your own opinions.